And I got another review here for you. It's for the X Rocker Pro 2.1 uh, gaming chair. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the features and then we'll go ahead and open it up. So it vibrates, uh, it vibrates through, uh, they call it an audio module, but it's a, uh, well, yeah, I guess you would call it that. It kind of just vibrates like a boom. So to kind of recreate what the low notes come out as, and it'll just vibrate and make you feel a little more uh, into the game. Um, so it also has a foreign subwoofer to enhance it, let you hear the boom when it comes out. Uh, so it's leather and it has a leather headrest, it reclines, it swivels, and that's pretty much it. Um, let's open it up, let's see what we got, and let's test it out, because that's what I'm excited about. Okay, so I didn't think it was gonna be this involved. Uh, got some bolts here, some brackets, the base, the arm rest. Um, but let's look at it real quick while we got it like this. So you got some inputs here. So like uh, if you have an uh, audio input, you can input it here. I believe this is input and output. Sound level. High low medium, I believe. Headphone and in, in jack installed. I don't know what this is yet. Oh, I think this might be the volume. And vibration and bass. So let me grab some tools. tell in the picture and it doesn't say what size speaker this is it looks like about a two two and a half inch I don't think that really matters um, but it looks like a, it looks like pretty good quality you can't really see in there because of this uh, screen I don't know if you can or not but it does have this subwoofer that look, looks pretty substantial for the size of chair this is um, and we're gonna find out for sure so yeah it does uh, it does swivel I thought it reclined, but I guess it doesn't recline. There's like this, uh, I don't know if this is the recline. There's like a little knob on the bottom. I don't know if that, let's see. To be honest, I don't know what that does. <laughs> it does something, I don't know. Uh, but anyways, yeah, it has a nice uh, leather uh, backrest. It says this is all leather, so there you go. Seems like there's a stain already, and I haven't sitting, I haven't sat in this chair, and I'm gonna have to clean that up. Uh, I don't know why they would ship it like that. Hopefully, hopefully this wasn't a like a used one, and they repackaged it or whatever. But anyways, so let's go ahead and zoom in here uh, to the controls and see. What All right, so we're looking at the controller right now. So let me kind of show you the the I guess the hardware they give you. So you got a regular RCA that would go straight from your TV into the audio in here to go out into the speakers in the chair. Uh, you've got one that connects from your PlayStation uh, remote control, only PlayStation remote, and you hook it up into here, into the RCA jacks, and from your controller, it'll go in there and it'll just pick up whatever your controller's picking up. So, you know, like you got the, like the speech part of it will come in here too along with everything else. Uh, so then we got this module here, this uh, transmitter. So you hook this transmitter up. I don't know yet exactly, but I'm gonna find out when I go hook it up. We're gonna hook this up into, I don't know if that's, if it goes into here or if it goes into the TV and then from there into here, I don't know, but we're gonna find out right now and then 
uh, we'll test it out. So um, I don't know if I've talked about this yet, but if I did, forgive me. Um, so this is the power on and off to the chair. It's your uh, DC connector. This is your vibrator um, audio module. And then this is the base, the actual base. And then here's the volume control. It's a pretty cool little volume control. Audio in, audio out. Uh, this goes to the module here, the transmitter or, or the controller. And then these are headphone connections. And then this is for the, you gotta match this up to the transmitter so they it's on the same channel. So there's one, two, three. So you pick one of those and just match them up. So let's go ahead and uh, get this into my son's room and let's see what we got going. All right, so here's a chair all hooked up. Um, I got it through the, the wireless transmitter. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I hooked it up. But let's look at the chair. I mean, let's just, let me talk about the chair. I already sat in it. It's, I mean, it's super comfortable. Like I, it's a, it's like a recliner, like a regular recliner, but it has speakers and a subwoofer and has a vibrator in it also. Um, so I thought that the vibrator was part of the audio. So you turn it on and you think, I thought that it kind of vibrated as you, as the bass hits, but that's a separate vibrator. The audio module is itself uh, in the chair. So it's a, a separate like vibrator or whatever the audio module does. Um, and I believe that's what it does. Um, so it sounds clear. I'm gonna say that it sounds clear. It's 30, my big tummy self got on this chair and it's strong enough to hold me no problem. Uh, I don't feel like it's gonna fall apart at all. So all the um, fluffy guys out there and you wanna get a chair like this, this is gonna be awesome for you. Um, so it, it does swivel, it reclines, not, uh, it's not like you recline and you stay reclined. It's just kind of your weight on it and it pushes, you push back on it and it'll kind of lean back, but it won't stay like that. If you like move around, it'll come back up. But I mean, it's it's great for what you're doing, especially if you're if you're playing the game, if you're really into the game, you're not going to be reclined anyways. Um, I'm sure they have some that are reclined. I don't know, but this one's not one of them. Uh, so let's go ahead and just I'm going to show you the, the hookups here and, and see how it works for you. Maybe you can do it different because I didn't want wires all over the place. So I use a transmitter, which you do need batteries for it. Uh, they don't come included so let's just... all right so we got we got it hooked up with here with the with the module or the uh, transmitter I just got it hooked up to the TV here uh, through the headphone jack so let me see here we can kind of see that it hooks up like you just put it on the band that you want turn it on and there it is there's a little green light right there let me block the light I don't know if I can Anyways, it's it's right there. It's on. It's green. It's very dim. So there's no wires going to it. Uh, I, I just wanted it like that, which is that's awesome. If if you are able to put it with, you know, RCA, if you want to, I guess you can do that. It just have the one wire, uh, the power wire there, going. So there it is with the little slick blue light there. Beautiful looking speakers. A little bit of a uh, crisp leather stitching that I like. I like how it looks. Um, let's go ahead and and that stain didn't come out. I don't know what in the world that is. I've cleaned it really good. Uh, maybe it's like oil or something. Anyways, 